Republicans in the state Senate are proposing a constitutional amendment that could make it harder for Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis to investigate former President Trump and Senator Lindsey Graham. The amendment calls for setting up statewide grand juries to look into election law violations. Good day's Mark Teichner has more on this developing story. He joins us live from the state capitol. Mark, good morning. Well, good morning. And that would basically strip the power off from local district attorneys, move it to the attorney general. Uh, it is a move that is controversial, to say the least. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes. It's a phone call that's triggered multiple investigations. And if some Republicans in the state Senate get their way, a change in the Georgia Constitution. 25 senators have signed on to SR 100, which calls for setting up statewide grand juries to investigate election law violations. The Republicans submitted the proposed amendment one day after news came out about Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis's investigation of calls former President Trump and Senator Lindsey Graham made to Georgia officials after the election. In a letter, Willis said she could impanel a grand jury looking into election fraud, conspiracy, racketeering, violation of oath of office, and threats of violence. I hate bullies. I love what I do. I want to be a part of keeping our community safe. If approved, the amendment would strip her of the power to conduct election and voting law grand juries, giving it to the attorney general, who would then impanel jurors from all over the state. A Georgia state law professor blasted the proposal in a tweet, calling it, quote, an attack on black political power. He went on to say jurors looking into misconduct in Fulton County should look like members of the community. Uh, it was important to say that this particular constitutional amendment has a big uphill uh, climb. It has to get a supermajority to get out of the state legislature. Right now, the Republicans simply don't have the votes to make that happen. And even if it did, it would still have to be approved by the voters uh, before going into effect. Reporting live from the state capitol in downtown, I'm Mark Teichner for Good Day Atlanta. Mark, thank you.